Hey everyone, Chris here with a little bit of an explainer video today. So you would have had to have muted several phrases and blocked a whole bunch of people if you're a Tomb Raider fan and you hadn't heard the rumours about an apparent Tomb Raider Ultimate experience. But what is it? Or more accurately, what's it likely to be? At the time of publishing this video, there has been no official announcement regarding TRUE or TRUE or the Tomb Raider Ultimate Experience. The sole piece of evidence that we do have is from a company called Justia Trademarks, which is a completely legitimate company whose purpose is to advance the availability of legal resources for the benefit of society. The point being, they're a completely real company and they deal with trademarks, and they've been dealing with Tomb Raider for a very long time. Now their website is pretty open access, up to a point. I mean, we can see the names of the registered trademarks that they deal with, and the type of content associated with them, and also any important timestamps that deal with that trademark, such as when they were filed, and anything else that happened to them along the way. Now that site tells us that True or the Tomb Raider Ultimate Experience was bookmarked by Square Enix between April and July in 2016, which was the year Tomb Raider turned 20. Now a series of timestamps appeared after that date, suggesting a multitude of things. There's a lot of legal jargon there, which might look like a bunch of nonsense if you're not a lawyer, but I'm going to try my best to explain it. Disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer. I'm a video editor by trade, and as such the following is based on my research into legal terms and explanations. Do not come to me for legal advice, seek a professional. Seeking legal advice from me will likely result in disappointment and or unfortunate imprisonment. So back to True and the timestamps. First note being, April 2017, suspension letter written. We don't know if this is a suspension of the trademark, or perhaps something else which implies that the project was at that point shelved. Now this went on for a while, with another suspension letter written in August 2018. Then things started to pick up. In May 2019 we saw that the trademark True was published for opposition. Again, I'm no lawyer, but I believe that this is the legal period during which the trademark can be contested by any other party who claim rights to that name. And in July 2019, a notice of allowance period began, which, according to a very in-depth legal website that I had to troll for, it implies that the trademark request survived the opposition period and nobody contested it. The notice of allowance period is the six months granted to an applicant during which they can issue a statement of use. Basically, this was the time period Square Enix had to declare what they wanted to do with the trademark true. Now, if during this notice of allowance period no statement of use is provided, then they had to file for an extension to give them another six months, of which they're legally permitted up to five, or they risk losing the trademark. So that's exactly what they did. So on the 31st of December 2019, Square Enix filed for and received an extension for True. This was extension one. Then six months later, in June 2020, Square requested and were granted another extension. This was extension two. And that's currently where we're up to. Square are within their second out of five extension periods. This time period began in the middle of 2019, was given its first extension at the end of 2019, and its second in the middle of 2020. By this time frame, if they continue to not issue a statement of use, Square have until the middle of 2022 to decide what they want to do with True and inform the trademark lawyers. Or they risk either losing the rights to True or having to start the process all over again. Please feel free to correct me on any of that if any of my legal interpretation was wrong, because I don't want to get anyone into any trouble. So, unless it wasn't clear up to this point, True is a real project, or at very least a real trademark. There is a legal paper trail that can be followed back to 2016, and a legal time frame for Square Enix to make use of it until 2022. So this is where the fun begins, because while it has been frustrating that every leak has been shot down as false, it's certainly fun to speculate. So the first leak came in the form of a badly written 4chan post with a very pixelated poster, recreated here in high definition by a fan. It stated that True was a bundle game that included, but wasn't limited to, Tomb Raider 3, The Guardian of Light, and Tomb Raider Anniversary. Relive Lara's greatest adventures in one ultimate package, is what it stated. But there was no information as to whether these were direct ports of the game, or HD remasters, or anything else, along with an apparent release date of August 27th. We're already way past that now, and there's absolutely no sign of this apparent bundle, which, if we're being completely honest, sounded like a stretch anyway if we're basing it on the information from a 4chan post. 
Not long after it came out, this leak was shot down by a Square Enix employee, so we can disregard that. Further to this, another leak is suggesting that Eidos Montreal is giving the remastering treatment to Tomb Raiders 1, 2 and 3, kind of along the same lines as Spyro and Crash. Now this post was littered with little bits of information that make absolutely no sense, such as PlayStation players receiving extra content because, quote, they help the franchise grow. That just doesn't happen. As much as people might hope it does, everything has a financial reason. <laughs> Not just because Lara was big on PlayStation like 20 years ago. The leak also claimed that the working title of this game was Tomb Raider Lara's Legacy, which there's absolutely zero evidence of. In fact, I might even go as far as to say I would believe this rumour slightly more if they'd have said that it was true, the Tomb Raider Ultimate Experience. Slightly more believable considering there's a paper trail. But as of the date of publication of this video, neither True nor Tomb Raider Lara's Legacy or any of these apparent leaks have been officially shot down by Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal or Square Enix in any official capacity. The original 4chan leak or this Lara's Legacy, I would confidently put money on it being a prank just to hoax fans, likely out of boredom of lack of actual Tomb Raider news. I would love it to be real, but it's 99% likely to be completely untrue. So I've gone through the trademark information and covered the rumours and I just wanted to finish with a little overview of what I think true might be. And it's kind of a simple answer because it's currently in its second extension period which implies they haven't yet made their mind up. So I honestly think that true is just a cool acronym that someone at Eidos or Square or Crystal noticed and bookmarked for potential future use. It's a really strong acronym and if the made up leaks have told us anything, it's that True carries so much potential for possible compilations. Remakes, remasters, ports, the whole series, trilogies, even something completely new. Personally, I'd love it to be a port of the entire series onto the next gen consoles. But I'd also be really excited if the classic games were given the remastering, remake, Crash, Spyro treatment. Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours though. But. I'm not holding on to hope that will ever happen, unfortunately. So just to reiterate, at the time of publishing this video, we have no official confirmation that anything is happening with the true placeholder trademark. If you really want to know when things are actually starting to happen, then keep an eye on those trademark timestamps. When similar patterns start occurring in true as did in Rise and in Shadow, being the most recent entries, then perhaps start getting excited because at that point, it's more than likely something is happening. But until that time, it's a nice dream.